Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and boy, do I have a surprise for all of you. I have on Zoom with me right now Mark Holton, and he played Ozzy in both Leprechaun and Leprechaun Returns, as well as Francis Buxton in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Hey, Mark, how are you doing today? I am uh, very hot. It is, it is the United States is on fire. But uh, it's nice to be back in the air conditioning with you. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm so glad that we were able to make this happen. I'm a big fan of yours, and I love Leprechaun, so I can't wait to get into this. Well, thank you. Yep, not a problem, not a problem. So the first question I got for you, how did you get your start into acting? Oh, my goodness. Uh, how did I get my start into acting? I got my start into acting um, in high school, okay. freshman year. Uh, I entered in an intramural uh, competition to uh, boost my grade okay. in uh, uh, English uh, that was poor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I chose uh, Patton's address to his men. Somehow was able to win the competition. Mm -hmm. I got my little gold medal and called into the uh, vice principal's office. Nice. And uh, I thought he was going to kill me because, uh, if you, you know, for those of you who haven't heard Patton's address to his men, it is, there's a few words other than expletives in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so um, he said, yeah, Mr. Holton, you know, we don't use that language on this campus. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, sir. He said, uh, all right, go back to class. Good job. <laughs> Bye. You know, it was like... <laughs> Wow. So, you know, I, uh, yeah, I started going to uh, speech contests after that nice. and uh, ended up going to nationals my uh, junior year and then got a college scholarship uh, to a small university in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, yes. Northeastern Oklahoma State and mm -hmm. uh, or North, Northeastern State University. And then uh, pretty much I had to, you know, make a decision uh, from there. Whether I went east or west, I was uh, familiar with uh, the Broadway scene, uh, and had never gone, you know, out to the um, to the West Coast. Never visited, but uh, I saw a uh, an actor on a late night program. He was uh, he was given the question, "Why did you choose L.A. over Broadway?" And he said, "Well, I came from a small town, and I just knew myself well psychologically." And uh, I knew it would be easier for me to rub bumpers than to rub elbows. Right. So, <laughs> okay, that makes sense to me because I don't want to be in, in Manhattan mm. or, or New York uh, except to visit. So anyway, that's how I made my decision. Awesome. Awesome. So <clears throat> what was your audition like uh, for both Leprechaun and Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Um. Leprechaun was uh, uh, very easy. Uh, I knew uh, I knew uh, Mark Jones already. Yeah. He had uh, recommended me to the casting director and the producers and everything, and it was pretty much just a formality. Uh, just uh, recently, I someone sent me uh, some of uh, Lisa London casting director's notes, and next to my name it says Mark's friend. So, yeah, it was pretty easy for me to get that role. Nice. Uh, and then, of course, you know, that, that movie got me the, the role in the uh, sequel, mm -hmm. Leprechaun Returns. Yeah. Uh, as far as Pee Wee's Big Adventure, it uh, was just a, a call. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, usually at that point in my career, uh, <clears throat> it would be, uh, you'd go in, you'd read for a, a casting director. Sometimes you were put on tapes, sometimes not. And then you were either called back based on their notes or the video mm -hmm. for the director. And uh, based on the callback or whatever, you were either, uh, you know, out of, out of luck or, or you were cast. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I went straight to, um, straight to uh, the, the final callback. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I walked in and <clears throat> it's not just the director. Mm -hmm. It's the director, all the producers, all the writers, pretty much anybody that had anything to do with, with the production. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, oh, and you'll be reading with Paul. 
<laughs> now I had seen uh, I had seen uh, Paul on late night television maybe a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I knew the Pee Wee character. I had you know the script, and of course we uh, I auditioned with the uh, I know you are, but what am I seeing? Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> you know, at the end of it, they all said, "Okay, yeah, uh, thanks for coming in." <laughs> and I think by the time I got home, uh, they had already made the deal with my agent. Nice. What? <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was it was it was pretty crazy. And then I would find out uh, years later that uh, uh, the person they had originally approached, I guess, had come back at them with a, you know. They, I guess they thought they were worth more than yeah. what they offered. And so uh, casting just said, uh, okay, no, we decline. Right. <laughs> and I guess when they called back, they said, oh, I'm sorry. We've already cast the role. Right. So, um, you know, there's a million different ways to look at that story. You know, it's yeah. either, it's either typical. Uh, it's good luck for me, but it might yeah. have been uh, very bad luck for someone else. So, yeah. Yeah. So what was it like working with Paul Rubin? It was great. Guys, total pro, uh, detailed. Um, of course, he had written. He knew exactly what he wanted. He, mm -hmm. he had the same vision as Tim Burton. So the two of them together, I mean, you know, how could you fail? Mm -hmm. I think um, one of the things I didn't know what the term fay meant. Mm -hmm. And I'm still not really sure. <laughs> but I, I think, uh, you know, Tim, Tim was a, a really good uh, director and he, he knows how to make an actor, uh, you know, by going around about without telling you exactly what, right. you know, he wants you to do, and, but you find it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, he's a master at that, but, I, but he kept saying, make him a little less fay. And I thought I knew what it meant, but... Anyway, it was as fey as it was, and, and somehow squeaked by. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, that that day went pretty quick. We uh, nice. we we knocked it out, and uh, of course, you know, it's all it's always uh, a pleasure to work for you know someone or work with someone who's not constantly going line. line <laughs> what's my line here? Yeah, let's just pick it up from where you everything up. <laughs> you, know, so. but, you know that that doesn't happen that much but when it does you know yeah. uh, when it doesn't happen it's certainly a luxury yeah absolutely so how did what were you approached to return for leprechaun returns um well i had pretty much quit the business mm -hmm. i'd moved out of california i said i i've had enough of it mm -hmm. uh i want the hell out of here uh so I left no forwarding. So I thought, okay, this, this, uh, these chapters of my life, these 33 years are over. You know, we have technology. If somebody wants me, they can talk to me on, uh, you know, uh, I don't even know if Zoom was in 2005, late 2015. I'm sure they had Zoom and, and other, uh, you know, ways to talk to people. So I thought, why should I go, you know, have an agent and, and uh, drive in LA traffic when I can just, pick up my phone and say, like, we're talking now. Yeah. And, you know, so, you know, screw that noise. You know, I'll just do it from, from uh, the, the good old, uh, you know, whatever area I pick <laughs> in the air conditioning and, and not have to uh, honk my horn and then yep. dodge people and then get out and step in hobo shit on my way in the door. <laughs> no love That's... lost there. I'm, I'm happy I made the move, but anyway, they tracked me down and yeah. uh, got a, uh, got an email that was uh, forwarded to me by uh, a good buddy of mine and then he had done an interview and that was kind of where uh, the uh, internet went uh, mm -hmm. you know where, where the trails ended yeah so they would always send these things to him and he he would pass them on mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, I thought god they've done seven of these things they've beaten it to <laughs> death I know Warwick doesn't want to do another one. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I'll read the script. And I, I thoroughly expected a piece of shit. And then I was pleasantly surprised. I was laughing and going, wow, this is cool. And I got to thinking about 25 years plus of technology. 
yeah. in um, uh, makeup, special effects. And I thought, well, you know, let's let's look into this a little further. And the company was uh, Blue Ox mm -hmm. out of Toronto. And uh, they're talking about shooting this thing in like January. And I'm going, <laughs> wait a minute, Canada in January. And you want to shoot it in a duplicate uh, environment that the original one shot in. Uh, how's this going to work? Well, the way it worked was the guy that owns Blue Ice also owns Out of Africa Productions in Cape Town. Okay. So they say that, have you ever worked in Cape Town? Uh, have you ever been to Africa? And I said, no. Why? And they said, well, uh, that's where they're shoot we're shooting. So uh, you would be in, uh, in the Cape Town area for over a month. And uh, we <laughs> rebuilt the house and blah, 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 blah. So how could I say no to that, you know? Right. Um, you know, the, the worst part of the whole uh, experience was just flight time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I, they treated me like royalty, put me on uh, uh, British Airways. And I, you know, mm -hmm. had my little sleeper and things. So I can't complain about that. Right. Uh, but... Um, Anyway, uh, it was it was just a, a different uh, experience. Of course, uh, you know the the kids quite a bit younger than me, uh, <laughs> and uh, one of them started referring to me as the OG. Nice. And uh, I thought, well, what does she mean, old geezer? <laughs> <laughs> and made the joke back at her, and she says, "No, original gangster. You're our only, uh, you know." The only repeating, you know, returning cast member. I went, oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I'm the OG. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. uh, had a lot of had a lot of fun. They, they were they were a great group, and uh, and the director was wonderful. Uh, script was pretty solid, I thought, and uh, South African crew uh, was was just wonderful. I, I've never yeah. seen a crew that, uh, that that jumped in and helped each other. Mm -hmm. that weren't hindered mm -hmm. by crossing a line uh, that was defined by unions. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I thought, oh, my God, uh, you know, we have these, uh, these guys on the lighting queue, you know, picking up stuff and carrying <laughs> it uh, for, for the people that are doing, uh, you know, the, the craft services, mm -hmm. you know, cases of water and stuff like that and vice versa. Somebody drops something. They didn't wait for somebody from their crew to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And if somebody else picked it up, they weren't going to get their ass chewed out. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were gone. <laughs> things. So, yeah, I've seen that, but not in <laughs> South Africa. Anyway, um, so I, I, even though I had pretty much said, uh, I'm done, mm -hmm. you know, I was through with the whole shoot match, but uh, I, I guess God wasn't through with me yet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's and then the, I think the coolest uh, ending of that story is on my way back, I had my last leg of the flight between mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dallas and, and Tulsa. Mm -hmm. And I, the, they had a delay on the plane. Well, we're replacing a windshield wipe or something like that. And I went, oh, great. <laughs> you know, it's like 30 minutes in the air and I'm mm -hmm. there. I've been on, you know, in the air for 40 hours. Yeah, I turned around and there was a, the Admirals Club or, or whatever, and I went in there and uh, I uh, kept hearing this voice, and then I finally got a good look at, at the guy that this mm -hmm. voice was coming from because I knew I knew the voice, and damned if it wasn't Paul Rubens. Ooh, so you know I'm ragged out. I've got on uh, all black with mm -hmm. little fuzzy sticking to it from the airline mm -hmm. blankets, you know, and my hair was messed up. I'm sure I had a, uh, a 12 o'clock shadow or whatever. <laughs> so I start, you know, walking toward him smiling and, uh, he looks nervous and he looks to his left and his right. And the people with him kind of, you know, they're on the edge of their mm -hmm. seat, ready to hop up. And I stopped and I, I cracked up. I said, Paul, it's Mark. And he goes, <laughs> what are you doing here? I said, I, I don't know. What the hell are you doing here? I just got back from South Africa, you know? And, uh, and he had just finished, uh, 
at Comic Con in uh, Dallas. Okay. And uh, he he kind of you know started telling me about conventions or whatever. It got me interested and helped you know introduce me to the thing and get somewhat mm-hmm. of you know an idea of what was going on there. <laughs> and uh, I've been thinking about uh, that day recently because uh, in uh, the, the second weekend of uh, this upcoming August, I'm going mm-hmm. going back. That's I guess it's the same uh, convention, but uh, you know it's funny how uh, nice you know things your life leads you on little paths you never yeah never explore. absolutely so how was your death scene filmed and prepped did you hear me reacting uh okay to uh pro- the prosthetics or whatever mm-hmm. some of it was inserted um <clears throat> i had a, a stunt double which was made completely of uh Mm-hmm. latex okay uh stole my scenes mm-hmm. uh so you know they had they had you know different things they, they would uh they, they use the dummy or whatever and then they would have me lay in place and, and go you know do a close-up on my eye with the reflection of the leprechaun mm-hmm. in it where they were using my eye and cutting back and forth with uh the exploded ozzy okay uh, so it was um you know nice. uh, it, was, it was you know yeah I mean, it was a uh, great to you know run through the forest and scream and nice uh, and be uh <laughs> be, be dramatic and yeah uh, were you when you reached when you uh returned and you were like told that you were going to be getting killed off or you found out you were going to get killed off were you bummed about it were you excited what were you feeling about that i never expected to get in front of a camera again on, right. on any kind of leprechaun <laughs> project and mm-hmm. you know in the movies it doesn't matter if they kill you mm-hmm they can they can figure out a way to bring you back even if you're yep. a ghost yeah so you know yeah um i i know that wasn't a, that wasn't anything yeah you know it, it was a, neither a, a plus or a minus it, it just okay. was part of the story awesome so what was it like working with jennifer aniston and warwick davis um well jennifer uh, that was her first feature film mm-hmm uh, Mark Jones had to fight to get her, mm-hmm. and uh, thank God he did, because nobody else could have done the role like Jennifer. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was uh, she was uh, funny, always, you know, on and off the off the screen, and uh, and just uh, a joy to be around every day. And we were we were kind of a tight knit little family, nice. and uh, uh, so. Uh, I have nothing but but praise, you know. And at the time, I said, "You're going places. I don't know where you're going to go. I don't know if you're going to end up on Saturday Night Live. I don't. I don't know what your path is going to be, but you're going to be successful mm-hmm. because you know you 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 way ahead of the curve for the uh, <laughs> amount of uh, you know uh, hits on your resume." Yeah, and I was right. <laughs> absolutely i mean friends is just such a hit show to begin with let, not, not to mention the movie she's been doing like she definitely a talent that i love jennifer aniston amazing actress just amazing what about warwick davis what was it like working with him and also was it challenging filming scenes with him as a leprechaun um uh, no it was not challenging at all um you know unless a, a prosthetic came loose. I don't remember that ever happening though. Um, I met Warwick and his wife. Uh, I forget, I was doing a film and flew back. I didn't have time to drive to my, my home uh, in mm-hmm. California. So they just put me up for the night and just whisked me off to the set. And when I was checking in, uh, these uh, you know little people came across the lobby smiling at me. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, my God, this has got to be Warwick Davis. This is Willow. This is our leprechaun and, he, and, he and his wife, mm-hmm. and sure enough, it was. And um, you know, most of the time, uh, Warwick uh, was was in the in the chair. Mm-hmm. He was either getting ready or whatever. And then after he was done, he had to be very careful. He had to drink through a straw. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he couldn't hold what he needed. Had to be fed wow. for lunch. He would, you know, lose all mm-hmm. this and then have to go back in the chair. Ooh. 
So it was uh, it was uh, quite a quite a bit uh, you know more challenging uh, what uh, what the special effects artists had to work with at that time mm -hmm. because that's it was you know they say it was it light well it was light years ahead you know by the time they, they did uh, the last Absolutely. one but you think about doing what was it seven of those yeah about yeah at least it's time to pull the plug on that crap man you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, if he wants to do another one, then, you know, I'm sure he's had enough of a rest, but uh, he'd have yeah. to really want it. It'd have to be a great script, and I hope it yeah. happens. But, uh, you know, I, but I understand mm -hmm. why, uh, you know, he was, he was uh, not, not ready to do anymore. I mean, he had right. other things to do. He's a good actor. He's very mm -hmm. uh, popular. He has a big following. Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so he gave, uh, you know, Lyndon Porco a chance mm -hmm. and uh, Lyndon aced it. Yep. So, you know, Absolutely. It, was, it was great working with both of them. Absolutely. So the last question I do got for you, do you have any other projects in the works to promote to the listening and viewing audience? Social media, websites, anything at all? Uh, yes. Um, it is uh, been in kind of a constant post-production. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather it, uh, I'd rather it, uh, you know, get its due diligence than, than to be rushed. It's called Stream, like a uh, streaming service on television, yes. Stream. And it involves uh, betting with cryptocurrencies on uh, uh, murders yes. in a hotel. Very, very gruesome uh, uh, Scotty slasher food, okay. I'm pl I, I, I promise. And um, it will be out. It's, uh, oh my goodness. Um, you know, I, I don't want to give a date because, mm -hmm. you know, if I do, I'll be wrong. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> but, but, you know, when they announce, I'll, you know, I'll go to the wall for them and, and let everybody know on, uh, on Instagram and, and uh, Facebook. Absolutely. Sounds like a plan. I know, um, I think Michael Levy's a part of that, right? Michael Levy is indeed yep. part of that and a yep. wonderful director yep. and he's got uh, a lot of irons in the fire and he, uh, he, he just became a daddy recently. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's part of, uh, you know, or actually a, you know, pretty uh, respectable mm -hmm. and, and a welcome reason uh, to have a, a delay. Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. I had him on the show, such a, a true gentleman, a, an amazing guest. And I mean, I can't wait to see that movie as well. And I mean, you're a part of it, obviously. So uh, everybody watching this, uh, keep an eye out. Um, you know, I'll, if I when I get wind of it, um, you can let me know as well. If you have a date, I'll promote it as much as I can. One other thing. Yep. August, I believe the 5th and 6th It's the first weekend in August. I will be in Oklahoma City. Okay. At a horror con there, and it has a pretty good lineup. Nice. Uh, never done Oklahoma City before. It's the city of my birth, so if people want to, uh, you know, come in and and uh, and come by my table, I would, I'd love to talk to you. Love to meet you. Absolutely. Absolutely. That sounds amazing. So definitely go check out Mark Holton. I thank you so much, Mark, for joining me the, uh, today. Thank you, Scotty. Yep. You have a great rest of your day. You All too, right. buddy. Bye. Bye-bye.